David Gross here with Condi Systems. Want to take a moment to help you with a common call that we get here at Condi Systems regarding transferring to the Dynasub white metal. Common call. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to press it twice, once wrong, once right, and I'm going to show you the difference. The problem that we're going to see on this metal after we transfer it wrong is we're going to see, if we hold it at an angle, we're going to see tiny what I call water marks. Water marks on Dynasub metal are caused by too much pressure. Simple as that, too much pressure. So we're going to press it, show you what it looks like, then we're going to turn right around and do it right and show you that it looks nice and clean. Okay, so we've got to press that up. We're going to do it at 400 degrees. So I'm going to run it up just a few degrees here. And I'm going to do it for 45 seconds. Using our handy George Knight DK20S. All right, typically when we do a transfer, we're going to do it, uh, we're going to put it on here. And um, Somebody walked off with my heat tape, so we're going to do it without heat tape. And we put in the press. The substrate is face up. The transfer is face down. We're going to put our cover sheet on top, trying not to move the transfer here. And we're going to press it. 400 degrees, 45 seconds, and we're using what I would call normal two-handed pressure. Okay, we're going to open it. I'm going to remove our cover sheet, remove our transfer. Okay, I'm going to pop the metal off. All right, and we're going to do our second. Okay, this time we're going to use very light pressure, so I'm going to readjust my press and we'll back off the pressure here. And what we want to do is, is do what I call almost one-handed pressure. Just very light one-handed pressure like that. Okay. And this time we're going to do it with the transfer face up like this and the metal face down. I like to transfer metal this way because I can just simply align it. Don't have to worry about heat tape. Don't have to worry about anything. Then we put our cover sheet on here. Same transfer, 400 degrees. Did I move it? Nope. Still looks good. And again, the trick to doing Dynasub metal in one sentence is light pressure. We want light pressure. And so we can, we can feel back here, do we have at least snug pressure, and we do. Okay, we're going to open our press and remove our cover sheet. And we flipped it over. So this one was done with heavy pressure with the transfer face down. This one done with light pressure with the uh, transfer face up, metal face down. We're going to let them cool. And then we're going to take a look at them together. Okay, here are our two transfers. And for our camera, it's very difficult to see the watermark. So I'm sorry, that's just something we can't reproduce on camera very well. But you can look at the transfers. You can tell that we obviously did a better job. This one does look clearer. To me, it looks better. It even looks a little bit more vibrant. And so my recommendation is that when you do Dynasub white metal, that you do it with the transfer face up, metal face down, and use light pressure, and I think your transfers are going to come out a whole lot better. This is David Gross with Condi Systems. I hope this tip has been helpful to you. If you'd give me any feedback or let me know what you think, you can email me at dgross at condi.com. Be sure to watch all our YouTube videos at conditv.com. Till next time, thank you.